Hello and welcome aboard Whale Pod. Welcome to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I am your Captain Whale, and in today's episode, you may notice we have Juniper in our party at last. That is because we will be discussing and completing the three side quests around Colony Tau, which all require Juniper to be in the party. Now, we are outside the Colony Tau canteen at sundown, so let's go see Could we get a bite to eat, please? what we can get here. Yeah, you can't always give 100%. Let's first expand Banana's range of cooking with the Amakta Evergreens. Enemy drop boost, 30%. So tasty. Thanks ever so much. Banana has learned well-dressed Makta salad. Can we try it out like right now? Now, no, we cannot try it out like right now, but we can discuss, and that's what we are going to do. Oh, if you are noticing that I sound slightly differently in these episodes, that is because I have indeed been switching up my audio settings yet again. I've been playing around a bit more with the various mic filters available to me in OBS Studio, and hopefully this clears up a little bit of the static problem in the background of my recording audio in the last few episodes. Now with it, let's get into, we have Rain's Departure, Food for Tau, and Colony Tau is off, Seer. And Rain's Departure. We do not believe we are able to do Colony Iota Goods because that one requires the Colony Iota Canteen in specific. So let's start with Rain's Departure. Group chat first, right? Is Rain okay? Seems like his injury's still not stopping him diving headfirst into trouble. He was a sworn friend of my predecessor and he's a master hunter. I understand your concern, but I believe he can take care of himself. So he's a hunter too, eh? He was my hunting teacher for a while. That said, I will say that he doesn't know when to stop chasing a monster. That's not good. That's not a good combination with injury. I know he's a capable guy, but it was overextending himself that got him hurt in the first place. In that case, maybe we should go and look for him. If it looks like he's being reckless, we'll bring him back... Sound good? Sounds great. Let's do it. Hang on. I'm getting a call from uh, Guillaum. That's probably a Welsh name. Welsh names are a pain in the butt for us dumb Americans to pronounce. So I'm not even going to try and I'm going to pronounce it best to the best of my ability based on how it's spelled. Hey, Juniper's with you, right? Listen. Sorry for the short notice, Juniper, but could you come and meet me sharpish? We think we found Rain. I think we'd better do as he says. Let's go see GM and quick. That is the Hunter. We will be starting with the Hunter. But before we actually get into that, we have food for Tao. Group chat first, right? Everyone in Colony Tau is out gathering food, right? Right, food stocks are pretty tight at this time of year. Is it really that rough? Could've fooled me. We're not exactly destitute. It's more about our relationship with our neighbors. What do you mean by that? We always give a bit to the Turkins around this time of year. It keeps things sweet between us. We've got something of an alliance going on. That's different. There's this one Turk and they call the Turking. Would you like to go and meet him? Sounds fun. I'm game. First, I have to talk to Roland about the food situation, though. The Tau Turkin Alliance. We will get to that either second or third, depending on what I am feeling at the time. Now, Colony Tau's Offseer. Discuss. We should talk about this. Colony Tau doesn't have any offseers, does it? No, we return our dead to the earth. Weird thing to do. I never heard of anyone doing that. 
who grows up in the forest goes back to the forest. And until that time comes, a peaceful resting place awaits you. I'm from Agnes, and even I've never heard of this custom. I suppose it's deeply rooted in Colony Tao's culture. It is, which is why the concept of sending off isn't something we've ever had to consider. But you did have an offseer in the past, from what I've heard. In the past, yes, but he was killed in combat with Kevis. Were you there, Juniper? I was. He drew enemy fire with the rear guard. I would not have escaped were it not for his sacrifice. Well, that's depressing. But what did your offseer usually do, given that he wouldn't be offseeing? Tilled the fields, mostly. As I said, we didn't really need offseers. Still depressing. Actually, could I ask you to send off our offseer? Of course, if that's what you want. If there's a place where we return to, then surely there are avenues other than the Earth to reaching it. That's what I've come to believe anyway, you know? If there really is some peaceful place waiting somewhere. That's a lovely thought. Do you know where the Offseer is? We'll get there straight away. Thanks, I'll take you. And we have Offseeing Customs. But first, we gotta go chase after the rain. We are now down to one page of these. I accidentally did one off camera that did have a, a blue exclamation mark. That was for the Colony 30 patrol still out in Dana Desert, not realizing they're free from the clock. I suppose I'll get to that a little bit later. But for now, we are going to, and ready to take on the world. talk with the specified character. Yay! I know that sounded a little sarcastic there, but I really do enjoy playing this game, so whenever I get the chance to, I try to be as positive as possible. And maybe now with my new audio settings, it might be easier for me to convey that. A GM is how I'm going to go with it. Juniper, you made it! You said you'd found rain. Look, a beacon stone. Wait, but that's... Juniper, what's that smoke? It's a beacon stone. We use them when we can't get normal communication out. They release smoke to warn of danger. Wait, so do you think... Looks like your man's in trouble. Uh, Rain, he said he'd go hunting to replenish our lackluster food supplies. Okay, I'll follow the beacon stone, GM. You wait here. But, you still haven't fully recovered, have you? I'm not risking you, too. Understood. Just in case, tell Glory to come after us. We'll be there, too. Don't you worry. Thanks. Okay, let's make a move. We only use beacon stones for emergencies. I hope nothing bad's happened. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go check. Yippee! Yippee indeed, Senna. I am very glad to have these new audio settings. I hope you all enjoy them too. I was pretty disappointed with myself for allowing such a thing as the static over the past few episodes to get into my audio like it did. So, with that in mind, I am very happy to be sharing this new audio quality with you going forward. I hope you all enjoy this even more now. Well, after this long ladder climb that's about as exciting as watching paint dry. Hey, Gogol. We've gotten all the Gogol liquor and snacks we need from you. So, seeing as I have plans to confront your papa, not Bart, here in the near future, hopefully, please... Uh, Please, 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 please let what I want to happen happen soon, Monolith. I will let you have a brief respite. And no way are we actually going to be able to beat Rotbart. Well, not Bart. We're not going to beat Rotbart because it's not Rotbart. Still a little salty about that. Still hoping for the super boss Rotbart. 
No. I have not looked at any information regarding what super bosses may or may not be in this Xenoblade game. So I am on that finest of fine hopium in hoping that Rotbart is indeed Whoa. promoted to super boss and not just snubbed by the developers. After all, we saw Gonzalez in footage already. Er, Gonzalez. Many of my friends fell. Could that be a path? Hey, that looks like a way forward. Let's actually turn on the quest route for this. Let's see. It appears to not be down here. Let's follow this up. We got a little zoomed in there. That's about where I like it. Our path is going to be bringing us close to the I've story flag. So far from my colony before. You'll do just fine, Juniper. Let's go. <sighs> Let me check. It just spat something out. How did you see that? It was behind a tree. It appears we can pass through here. We are heading towards the story flag. Hopefully we will not hit it. And we hit it. Whoa, what the snuff? Where did this come from? Careful, here it comes. Standard quests, imminent illusion. Okay, this was not the story flag, this is just another quest. It is forcing us into the fight, though. You gotta face me. You didn't disappoint. So we will fight the mysterious raider. Bring it on, big boy! The Yum Smith, while it is definitely a very easy class to control, debuffs are its main shtick, and they have historically been not the greatest in Xenoblade games, as late game enemies have a ton of debuff resistance. So let's hope Monolith did something to abate that this time. It, it disappeared, uh, what just happened? It's likely we're being pursued, but I've never seen a Levinus like that before. Could it be a new model? I don't think we'll get very far just theorizing about it. Let's hurry on ahead. Fair enough, but we should stay on our toes until we leave the woodland at least. Quest complete. Zero experience, zero gold, five soul points. Yes, I am saying zero experience rather ironically because I will simply not be using them. Oh, these flyers would probably give a better chance of dropping any uh, flyer pollen of the rare quality you still need for the one level three gem that takes it. Yeah, that guy looks pretty cool, that machine, whatever it is. Uh, don't know if it'll be playable or usable. But a nice, quick, easy quest. And of course, the no experience is just a running joke I am putting in here about me not using bonus experience from quests. Now, we have arrived at the grind rail to get over to the smokestone. Yes, we go indeed, Senna. I'd love to hear someone else's dialogue about that. So, if you could, uh, uh, what's it here? Oh, yeah. Reach rank 10 in Yumsmith so I can switch to playing as someone else, please. Rain, are you alright? You guys, how did you... We saw your beacon stone, but you're hurt.
It's pretty bad, but he'll be fine. I've got this. I'm losing my edge. Overrested myself. Thought I could outdo you, Juniper. Stop talking. These wounds won't close up unless you hold still. Sorry. Looks like the hunter got himself hunted. That quarry, that monster. It was a strange one. Felt off. Dangerous. I understand, Rain. You will rest now. That's an order. I can hardly argue back in this sorry state. I'll be good. Let's go monster hunting. Not quite, Noah. That's a entirely different franchise. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. We will go beat up sh some schmuck who thinks it can take out one of our friends. This is a interactive the tracks objective. I'm going to guess. Gogol. Gorilla. Big monkey. What's that, banana? Everyone is emergency! What's up, banana? Banana cannot! Banana cannot go on like this one extra step! We have been walking since Colony Tau, I suppose. If we can find a good place, we'll set up camp, okay? Meh! Then need more dinner! You can be strong a little longer, can't you, huh? Just a little. Fine! But Manano, very, very starving today! We need to make dinner soon, and everyone must help cook! Sure. Well, I'll be helping you to chip in, right, guys? Uh, that I feel like was actually main story. I'm curious to see what tactics you have in place, surrounded by so much nature. Definitely main story. What say we go hunting together? Interrupting so our Google tracking. Banana was sounding hungry. Let's find a place to, nearby to rest. Impromptu story progress. Yay! Not really, but we'll say yay because because banana is yeah, incessant. You can't always give a hundred percent. And if we ate banana, who would cook for us? And that is the only joke about eating Nopon I will make during this Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Let's Play. Which makes this Xenoblade 3 Let's Play way better than Xenoblade Chronicles X. Because, once again, it is the only joke about eating Nopon. If you watch when I eventually Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles X, you will see just how tiring the constant joking about Nopon as food gets. We'll rest. <sighs> I was getting kind of sleepy. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Gosh! Food is entirely missing! Manana not even get single fill of stomach yet! I just saw you stuffing your cheeks. The rations should have been divided equally. Banana walked more than you used to today. Tommy was rumbly grumbly. Not much we can do, though. Not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go. So you're gonna have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? Completely gone! <gasps> What's up? What's wrong? What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. 
No way, for real. French sure did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nuh uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed. I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Ah, oh, no way. plate unpolished that awful false accusation not even Manana ever stooped to such crude vulgar behavior all right all right we get it just chill out already Manana refused to become frosty this now matter of honor and dignity for starters I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish but she can't have eaten up the lot so who then that guy barely eats at all, right? Indeed. Riku practiced ancient Nopon art of restraint. Hey, check it. Manana, do not. A feather? Manana? But what, what kind? Riku I Manana found tracks here. Nobody's blaming you here. These footprints. Uh, uh, I think they're turkey. Mystery again. solved then. A turkey feather. So, Look, they sorry, raided our okay. supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honor and dignity of Manana left in tatters for a vile and baseless accusation! Come on, please, lighten up already. Manana All accusations aside, we're we really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. You ate them. I concur. Is not Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard-pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. Okay. Anyway, that clearly too much eat. Manana is bottomless pit. Meh meh? What? Well, how Riku know Manana is dainty eater? Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day of days, Manana will have retribution! <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a runner! Slipped out from the castle. Is this okay? He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does make contact, they'll come. <laughs> really? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, we can probably take your word. Right, O? Mmm, certainly. As you say, P, we probably can take his word. Since we're already out here gathering food, we could think about building up a reserve of stuff like that that'll keep for a while. That's a good idea. What would that be? Mushrooms, nuts, that sort of thing. I'm on it. By the way, when the Turkins got into our camp, did no one seriously notice? Nope, not even slightly, not even a teeny little bit. Riku was busy sawing logs all last night. I'm sorry, you guys. We'd walked a lot yesterday. I'm sure you were just super pooped. You'd never miss something as obvious as Turkin footsteps on a good day, Mimi. I think it's safe to say we're all partially guilty of negligence this time. Indeed. However, we should also reconsider our storage arrangements for the future. Ah well, it's water under the bridge now. No point taking locks after the Arden's been bolted, am I right? Let's just get to the searching already. Very well. Hey, is that... An Anlude!
It's hard to fill up our mushrooms alone. I say we hunt us some meat as well. Woohoo! I love me some hunter gathering. Stolen provisions accepted. And loot meat is fucking amazing. I don't want to do stolen provisions right now. I want to do the hunter. And loot meat is fucking amazing. We get it, Uni. Guess we know what's on the menu today then. There wasn't any food here, was there? Wanna look a bit further back? Why? I want to do the side quest game. Spark this. Stolen provisions, activate, and whatever. Yeah, this collect the specified things. Luscious fillet, one. We will. Turn off quest route for this. We'll be done in a blink. All right, you guys. Eyes over here. Wow, stinks. Go. Pupple. Down the face, me. Wow, stinks. Extended. Slash. Cross impact. Crack. They broke away. How's that? Here. As I was saying in our last battle with the Yum Smith class. It relies on debuffs, so unless debuff resistance on high-level enemies has been significantly reduced in this game, I don't expect it being useful long-term. It is a fun class, and it's very easy to play. It's a very good one to get as an early hero class. As if you're not doing side quests, it will likely be your third hero class obtained after Medic Gunner and Flash Fencer. Or not Medic Gunner, War Medic. Much relief. Glad Riku had just power frame last night. Should perform 30% better than leading brand. What's you on about leading brand? I get that we're weaker than Agniant, so we need this to get on more of an even footing in combat, but... Friends say but. Why but? We just need oomph, you know, like kapow sort of thing. Sound effects not help comprehension. Oh, you know, like that doodad Noah has. Doodad? Ujima flip. You know what I mean. Don't make me say it. What friend want to use for? Uh, well, I... Not on your own by any chance. I... If so, Riku have to pass. Oh, come on. So Riku gets right. <sighs> Backing up. This plan of Lance, know a privy to it? <sighs> Make decision without consult allies? Bad form. But he's our enemy. And who decide that? You're never say himself? That he enemy? He didn't. I did. In absence of complete picture? Well, but he's different. So after me just once, Lance make up mind? <sighs> then... What are we gonna do? Only thing friends can. Keep moving forward. How's that gonna solve anything? Should never have asked. Also, do that, not that kind of thing. Uh... Shouldn't we search a little farther in? I suppose, Tyon. Some more ingredients. You can never be too careful. You're really getting in the way of what I wanted to do this video. Hey, look. 
That's a really odd looking tree. Meh. Oh, wondrous day! Cannot believe eyes! It's fruit of legend! Bright fig! Bright fig? What's a bright fig when it's at home? Let me guess. They're stupidly delish. Oh, guaranteed! Deliciousness is such that friends will be picking up jaws from ground for weeks! Uh-oh. What's up? Are they rotten or something? Tragedy strike! These not ripe for plucking yet, let alone eating! If eat now, bitter flavor calls agonizing death! Huh? I don't know. They look tasty enough to me. Bright fig not good for eating even after full yellow. Still have to wait another year before able to enjoy. That's too long. Man, so much for that. Never mind. You can always come back next year. It's legendary, right? You wouldn't want to miss out. Guess we'll have to. But, Mia, a year from now? Mm. Even if I might not get to do it. You guys can still have a taste. Why wouldn't you... Whoa. Love, you've got to stop being so detached about it. You'll just get everyone feeling guilty. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. Don't mind me, she says. Of course we're going to mind you, doll. Hey. How can you be so casual about it? What do you mean, casual? I assure you, I'm not. I'm actually pretty flustered. You defo don't look it. If it looks that way to you, well, that's because I shouldn't even be here. What do you mean? This life's a gift from a dear friend. It should have been me. I should have died out there that day. So this isn't really me. I'm just living on her time. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Somehow, that reminds me of us. I know. When we're interlinked, I can see a glimpse. Inferno. Destruction. Land screaming. Noah's memories. What if... Bear with me. That friend of yours, she showed up like Euron. As an enemy? as an enemy. I suppose... I'd want to know same as Lance. Simply, why? Gotcha. I figured. Mm. Why is it that you gave your life for mine? Why? You could have lived longer yourself, me, Abby. Why did you do it? So her name was me, Abby. Sorry. Guess it's a sensitive subject. It's funny. I thought I had it all locked down. Thank you. Whatever a reason, 
I'd accept it. Facts. Whatever the truth may be. And that's it. No looking back. While my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards. Can I now? Your partner's now, eh? <laughs> I suppose you are at that. Hmm? I wonder, how does he see things? I think there's more food to find over there. Great, it still continues. Well, let's go find it. Hey, Corsair goggles. What's this food you're on about? Did you scoff it all up already? We couldn't even if we wanted to. Something so valuable here. There they are. Hmm. Oh, what's this? We ate those yesterday, didn't we? Must be lots of them in these woods. Seems so. Well, that explains it. What explains what? At first glance, it looks like a kelp mushroom, but in fact, it's what call is what's called a nighty night, causing overpowering drowsiness when ingested. Huh? Uh, so you're saying we ate these, and that's why we all slept clean through the Turkin stealing our food. That's my working hypothesis, anyway. I'll go warn Mio and the others. Mama! Was Manana who put in dish should have known better? We all picked the ingredients together, so it's not like it's you that was at f but then banana blow up on lands and say many lots of mean things. Very deeply sorries. Hey, it's all in the past. More importantly, all this trudging around foraging has given me a wicked appetite. We've got enough now, surely. Let's go back to the camp and make it into something edible. Yeah. Banana, agree also! Stolen provisions complete. Zero experience, zero gold, five soul points. We've rounded up plenty of ingredients. Looks tasty. This amount to keep us going for a while. We're still plenty topped up on ether. We don't need that one there yet. Looks like we might get lucky. Uh, right. in your dreams, Lance. I just noticed that one cutscene back with, uh, I think it was with Lance and Riku as well, but definitely with, uh, Mio and Yuni was everybody in their default outfits. Let's see if it'll finally let us press on, or... Nope. Of course. What do I get when I want to do side quests? Main story. All right, then. That should be us good for food now. Yeah. Looks like that'll last us a little while. 
What's wrong, Mia? <gasps> Who's there? Come out! Huh? Boliaris! Yeah, much better. I owe you. What are you doing over this way? I thought you were going to the castle. Yeah. No, I went. And this is what I got for my trouble. So, tell us, what happened? But why, Your Majesty? Why would you attack Colony 4? You came into contact with Ouroboros, did you not? <gasps> I'd call it burning out the contagion. C contagion You're implying we've been contaminated? Have you not? You've been removed from the protection of the flame clocks. You no longer need to wager your lives in battle. Who struggles not in life, deserves not to live. That is the compact of our nation, and moreover, the truth. Majesty, my queen. Yet, to punish you all for fate's machinations would be a misstep. Therefore, I shall grant you a chance. What must I do? Eliminate Ouroboros. <gasps> you want me to... Noah, and the rest. Naturally, I am cognizant of the fact that the enemy is wily and capable. I have no intention of sending you alone. <gasps> Kamaravi! Wh why are you here? Ethel. Uh, how? But you're not even on the same side. Entertainment. Pardon? Those who have been released from the Flame Clock's sacred indenture cannot be affected by the Mobius Iris. To bring you back under control, I would have to force your rebirth. But that wouldn't be nearly as fun. The power you two wield surpasses even some of our consuls. I have great hopes for you. Ethel. Kamaravi. They gave Ethel and Kamaravi new Phronesis. They've been made specifically to kill Ouroboros. The tune-up might take a little while. Though... You don't have much time. The two of them are after your heads. You're sure of this? Really? That's why I came here. To give you warning. They already know your rough position. That's how I found you in the first place. What's this? Plans of the castle. They were tuning up my Pharonis when I happened upon them. They include schematics for the Annihilator. Take them and go back to Colony 4. Commander, you mean... If they can find us wherever we are, I want to at least secure a way for us to put up a fight. Am I wrong? 
<laughs> but, Mom, we can't very well. Also, about Noah's group. If you happen across them, tell them this. I will use lethal force, yes? But... Furthermore, tell them I wish them all the best of luck. I hope they reach their goal. Commander? Oh, Ethel. She sounds serious. And still... telling us to just... keep going? Well, that's Ethel for you. Hard-headed as they come. Won't she get into trouble? Because of you slipping out? Hardly. I'm just one missing foot soldier. No one's gonna pay it any mind. Huh? But your wounds earlier... Uh, truth is... Air from falling off a cliff on the way here. It was dark as snuff. <laughs> Are you tucking my wings? Well, anyhow, it's nothing for you lot to fret over. This is our problem now. You focus on achieving your objective. We appreciate it. Ah, but man, you know, why's the commander got to duke out with you lot, eh? And why was our foe Kamaravi there, the Ashbar? Feels like the whole world's turned on its head. All righty. I'm heading back. Got it? You lot scoot on along out of these parts. There's still some time before they're done tweaking. And with you on foot... We're not running away. Not after all this. Huh? I'm staying too. What? Really? That light we saw... a while back. If that... if that had come from the Annihilator... Even if we were to somehow reach our destination, if it was at the cost of all your lives, it wouldn't be worth it. <sighs> Surviving like that, I couldn't bear it. Mimi. Mia. Boliaris. The castle plans. Can you share them? Noah, you're not... You wouldn't. The fact remains, it was us that destroyed your clock. Therefore... Yes, but that's... Either way, I think it's clear at least part of the blame lies with us. It's only fair, then, that we destroy this Annihilator. Agreed? You for real? I'd be up for a little detour. Same here. He did offer us shelter. That creates an obligation. No way around. Someone here needs to keep friends in line. Count Riku in! If plan on fighting, we'll need first-rate chef, too! Oh. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards, can I now? Oh, fine. Go on, then. You wouldn't make it far inside the castle without a proper healer anyway. Uni. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll head back to Colony 4. In case the shit hits the fan. Good luck, then, to all of you. Yeah. We'll be all right. Remember, we're up against the castle. 
Get too close, and we may come under fire. What's our plan? I think we'll be able to manage, as long as we're careful. Come to think of it, you used to go to the castle for offseer training once a year, right, no? The Black Fog. Is there much there? There's actually quite a bit. Around this time, the whole area is shrouded in it. They couldn't find us in that cave in Neil Valley, right? And you think we can repeat that? Maybe. Using the fog to approach is clever, but risky. What if an annihilation event occurs? You know... I hadn't really given it much thought up until you mentioned it, but oddly, it hasn't been happening. Seriously? I'm not sure why. Behind the castle, there's an ether deposit being mined in an area facing a lake. The ether being obtained there is then delivered into the castle through a freight entrance. So that's where we'll get our sneak on. There won't be anyone in the containers. If we can just get to them, without being spotted... Then we can get into the castle. Okay, let's assume we do give the guards the slip. What do we do once we're inside the place? Tyon, the sensors. What was the Colony 4 soldier's search radius, with the fog out? Their scanning range... I'd put in the ballpark of 15 metri. Look here. In the reserve area, there's a maintenance hatch that leads directly to the outer wall. If we make it through here and get to the main housing, it'll land us in front of the Annihilator. Less chance of being spotted by troops outside, too. We can do this. There's one concern. The castle is the Queen's residence. What if we're found by the consuls? Then I guess we'll have a fight on our hands. But it's not like we don't have a retreat. Here. In Keves, after a homecoming, they wash away the belongings of the dead as part of a ritual. It's an understated affair. And the channel they use for it is here. It flows straight out, connecting to the lake outside the castle. I see. So, we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. More snuffy in water. Every time we run, why do we always end up getting drenched? I mean, feathers are a bitch to dry. Every time being our grand total of once. Well, let's just hope we don't have to fight. That's the ideal case. That's it, then. Ready whatever supplies you need. Then we can go. Well, we will go whenever we get around to going. And I cannot stay mad at the story for long because hot dang is it good. This is where I'm going to end this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We tried to do some side quests, but unfortunately the one we chose to do led us right into the path of the main story. And a very mysterious autonomous Leavenous that attacked us, took a bit of damage, then noped out like a coward. I have been your Captain Whale. Thank you all for watching, Whale Pod. If you like this video, leave a like and consider subbing to the channel. It is free of charge and helps me out immensely. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my latest uploads. As always, comments are welcome down below, and please do consider answering the question of the day that I leave down there from time to time. And with that all out of the way, I hope you all are having a fantastic day, a whale pod. But until next time, goodbye.